bedevil Satan worshippers. Two women who have now gone viral for their anti-Muslim rant videos online are now facing burglary charges. Investigators accuse them of trespassing at the Islamic Center of Tempe. Tonight, they're out from behind bars. Team 12's Adam Bagney's in the newsroom for us with what they're saying. Adam. Well, guys, these women garner national attention after posting multiple videos of themselves heckling Muslims. But once one of them allegedly caught them stealing from a Tempe mosque, they found themselves behind bars. Tani Gonzalez, you are here on one count of burglary in the third degree. 31 year old Tani Gonzalez not saying much after her release from the Phoenix Fourth Avenue jail. You know, I, I can't talk right now. I'm under investigation, so I really can't. A stark contrast to videos posted online that show her heckling Muslims. Allah meets. Here in America, you guys, they use our own constitution against us. The videos feature Gonzalez and 56 year old Elizabeth Donhauer. She's also out now and trying to hide from our cameras. The pair are facing burglary and disorderly conduct charges after police investigated this video, which they say shows the women stealing flyers, calendars, Qurans, and other items from a Tempe mosque. Muslims are nothing but devils, Satan worshipers. The video is shocking the nation, not only for the hate speech, but also because the women brought their children along for the ride. The pair have been at this locally for a while. Gonzalez has been associated with the Patriot Movement of Arizona, a group that protests at various Democratic events, including last weekend's Bernie Sanders rally. Though members tell us they've cut ties with her and aren't associated with her videos. Like this one, where Gonzalez heckles Senate candidate Deidre Abood. Muslims hate to be in America. Why are they welcome here? But now, Gonzalez is keeping her mouth shut. You guys, this is an active investigation and I can't talk about it. Please leave me alone right now. And the duo is due back in court on March 29th. In the newsroom, Adam Bagney, 12 News.